It's Mother's Day, everybody, and you guys know what that means. <laughs> Some hot mom. No, 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 it's it's a different kind of video. It's not that kind of video. I know you've seen it before. The, the YouTube video with the title, Top 10 Hottest Moms, always pulls in the views, right? I think it's a little tasteless on today of all days. Mother's Day, right? I want it truly, I want this list to exude the pure motherly characteristics that, that all mothers, you know, seek to exude. I want this to be a true respect piece, to put some respect on the mothers of the world. I don't want this list to be skewed by vanity. I don't want someone stealing the top spot just because they are drop dead gorgeous or something. I don't want to be influenced by such stupid ideas. It's not that kind of list. It's a different kind of list. I'm not gonna... So anyways, guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Have you ever been born? Killing it on the relatability, let's go. Yes, yes. Well, odds are, whether you know the person or not, that person who born you, that was a mother. And I feel like I'm the most qualified to do this, but I have compiled a list of mothers from fiction, from non-fiction, from celebrity culture, from animation, from live action, everywhere. All of the mothers. And I am going to definitively decide which is the best mother. Just ever. I, I feel like I'm the most qualified. You know, me not having any degree in science yet. Also being a cis male who, you know, isn't a mother. Yeah, no, I'm going to pick the best one. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we have, okay, oh. Don't just jump scare me like that. We Just off the bat, we're just, we're diving into the deep end with this one. Chris Jenner, mother of Kim Kardashian and the other ones. Um, This one's a weird one to start off with because I, just gut instinct tells me that she's just a terrible mother. I don't know what it is. I'm just, just like looking, just like, just looking at, I, it seems like she's the original Karen that all the other Karens were copy and pasted from. She is, she is the overlord of them all. I, I feel like a run-in with her in the coffee shop would go a little bit like this. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Who made this? Who, ma who made this? It's me. I, I'm the barista. I made that. I, I'm sorry. No, not, not the coffee. Not one? the coffee. You. Who, ma who made the barista? Yeah, me. You? Yeah. You did it wrong. Sorry. I, I would know. I have the clone formula. <laughs> my, my daughter. So she has this very Karen aspect about her, but also I really can't fault her parenting style because it's clearly working. <laughs> All of her kids are famous for being famous. And, you know, you can't dispute that. <laughs> as much as you want to, I guess she succeeded? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with no with no real reference right now, I'm gonna have to put her at a C tier? That feels wrong, but we'll, we'll adjust if we have to. <laughs> Next on the list, let's see. Uh, ooh, a classic, a classic, Miss Turner. The one, the only, Miss Turner, uh, no, no, not that kind of list, not that. <clears throat> so, <laughs> fun fact, by the way, according to the official Fairly Odd Parents wiki, her name, her, her full name is M. Teresa Trudy Turner Vladis Platov. <laughs> and she was a former CIA agent, but actually a double agent, what? Wait, she was actually a double agent for Russia? <laughs> What? That's that, that's a thing it says in the in the wiki. We're gonna we're gonna have to take a couple mom points off because I don't I don't know how good parents Russian sleeper agents can be. Um but it's not a it's not a complete turn off, I don't think. But but honestly think back to the series, kind of the main point of why Timmy has fairies is because he's miserable, because his parents don't listen to him. She's kind of just like one of the main causes of Timmy's trauma, which is, you know, personalized, personified by the goldfish of magic variety. All right, where, where would we put her though? By all means, she's not a terrible parent, but kind of the main plot of the show revolves around how Timmy doesn't really have a good parentage. So 
I'm, like, I'm probably gonna have to put her below Chris Jenner on C tier as well. Not the worst in the world, but really not great. <laughs> All right, who's next? Who's next? Who's? <gasps> oh, Bubby. Oh, Bubby. Oh, I love you, Bubby. Okay, Bubby is going. I mean, it's obvious. S tier. S tier mom. Even even past the joke mom of Miss Incredible. But I mean, it's just not debatable. If you've ever seen the show Flapjack, Bubby, I I want Bubby to be my mom. And I have one. Just like, you can have more than one. <laughs> it's like Pokemon badges. You can collect them, right? I mean, I don't think that one's really up for debate at all. If you've ever seen Flapjack, it's obvious. I, I mean, for Pete's sake, she lets her adoptive child live in her mouth. I don't... I mean, if that's not a dedicated mother, I don't know what is. I don't... I don't think I would go that far for my kids. You know, they can just be fucking homeless. <laughs> easy, easy S tier, done. So for this next section, I'm, I'm kind of grouping them together because you know, we have all of the moms to go through and only so much video time left. So I've grouped this section in what I like to call the animoms. <laughs> it's the moms from anime. <laughs> you get it? It's really funny and cute and quirky. Anyways, dead from the start, dead from the start, dead from the start, dead from the... <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, you tortured your kid. You don't know your mom, same with you. Uh, what is it? Uh, dead. Dead, 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 dead to me. Uh, you, you, you let your 10 year old son leave the house for good just so you could bone the professor? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Big Mom's pretty hot too. Uh, cute, I mean, I mean, yeah, she like ate her kid or something, but like, uh, <laughs> okay, next on the list, Dilda, Dilda Kropkin Pickles. <laughs> Dee Dee Pickles. <laughs> Dee Dee Pickles from the good old show Rugrats. You know, I don't remember much about that show. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you remember, if you ever watched the show, Dee Dee was a good parent. I, that, it's not too interesting. It's just I thought her name was kind of funny. <laughs> um, she's, I mean, she's literally a child psychologist in the current current canon of uh, the Rugrats universe. Um, so she knows, she, she knows how to, to psycho, psychologize children with efficiency and she gets paid for it. Man, I'm using all the wrong words today. Overall, solid momage, solid momage we're seeing today. We're, we're, we're getting better. We're getting better, I guess. Um, would I say it's S tier? I honestly, the whole point of the show was teaching children lessons and... Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> and honestly, I'm digging the Patrick Star. The Pat, it's, it's a bold look. I think I, I might have to rock it myself. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who do we got next on the list? Oh, a classic. Good old Marge Simp. Uh, now, I personally haven't watched Months of the Simpsons, but I feel like it would be nigh a crime to leave this iconic mom off the mom list. So um, I did, I've done some research in the in the Simpsons wiki. You know, we've been we've been hopping wikis today. Don't say I never did anything for these videos. I put in effort and effort. I mean, honestly, from what I've read, I I think she's a pretty good mother. I for all things considered, she cares about her kids. She's often the authoritarian of the family, combating against the the dumbassery that is Homer Simpson. Um, and she's pretty based. Um, but yeah, I mean. Overall, she seems like a pretty caring mother. Pretty standard, run of the mill, doing what's best for her kids. I, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with the cr criminal record. What the fuck? Shoplifting, drug abuse, child, child negligence. Maggie wandered away doing mar <laughs> due to Marge's gambling addiction and was nearly eaten. Manslaughter. <laughs> Wah! Ah! What? <laughs> no! No! Bad mom! Bad mom! Bad mom! Bad! I think that's... I mean, that... I... I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I... <laughs> maybe I'll just start, maybe I'll start watching The Simpsons. Apparently stuff goes down in that show. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, in the spirit of time, once again, I have done some crunching of the numbers. Crunching of the moms. The moms have been crunched. 
weird way to put it. So we're gonna put this section into a little game, you know? Who's Who that, that Pokemon? Pokemon? I mean, that kind of works. Um, so I'm gonna show you a silhouette of a mom and you're going to, you're going to tell me who it is. Um, first. Who's that mom? I mean, if you squint and look at that the right way, it kind of looks like a P. <coughs> it's, it's, it's Linda Belcher. It's Linda Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Who's, Who's that, that mom? mom? Mom. That look, that's just a P. It's Lois Griffin. It's Lois Griffin. Don't ban me. This is child friendly. This is, it's just Lois Griffin. What? Stop designing your characters like this. I mean, you, you just gotta stop designing them like this. It's it's not that hard. It's not that hard to just stop designing them like they're. I uh, I mean I mean uh, uh, kid friendly channel. Give me give me your uh, parents' money, kids. Uh, all right. Let's see who's next on the list. Let's. I. Uh, huh. Says here this is Batman's mom. Um. Um. There we go. All right. So. Okay, I've eaten dinner now. I mean, no time has passed. Uh, what's next? Ooh, oh, Morticia Adams. Let's go. That was a normal reaction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just she is the goth girl. <laughs> she is the goth GF, okay? She is the original. <laughs> we have the original Karen. Now we have the original goth GF. We're just going through the subtypes, okay? <laughs> We're studying Pokemon evolution here. Get, uh, write it down. Honestly, besides the fact that she would probably jump for joy if her kids ever told her that they had depression, I think she constitutes for a pretty decent mother. If you've seen anything that pertains to the Adams Family, there's been a lot of variations, but pretty much every single one of them has a pretty heavy emphasis on their familial bond. They may hate everything. I mean, relatable, but like they may hate everything and like only like the things that no one else likes. But when it comes to each other, they like torturing each other, but it's consensual so i think that's okay <laughs> like if my kid came up to me and was like dad dad fucking torture me i'd be like what <laughs> what you take after your mom but like no <laughs> i mean like okay. <laughs> she's not bad but if we're using everyone else here as a baseline i think we might have to put her at Bay, a, a, maybe. So I may have forgotten to rank the animoms from the beginning of the video. So, um, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> with maybe a few exceptions, um, you know, non-consensual torture is, I guess, kind of bad. Okay. Um, you're dead to me. And I guess you're a decent mom. No, you're not. No, you're not. You don't care about your child. And yeah, there we go. So, okay. Yes, she ate her child. Fine. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Next, we got a power duo coming up. Both Finn and Jake's moms. We got Finn's mom, Minerva Campbell. Minerva, 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 Minerva Camp Pibel. And Margaret. <laughs> now, I'm not going to get too far into Adventure Time spoilers because I think that is one of the greatest animated shows of all times. You should watch it. I cried. Like a baby. A lot. I cried a lot. I cried a lot. I cried. Come on. But that's besides the point. Um, motherly wise, um, Finn's mom, you know, wasn't the most present in his life. Didn't really get to see him until he was around 12. But in that time where she did see him, she was very loving and caring, a bit too much at times, a bit overbearing. Um, again, not gonna spoil the plot or anything, but she went a bit far, but it was out of motherly love. So no one ever faulted a mother for caring too much. She was a, she was a doctor for Pete's sakes. And you know, contrasting to the doctor, Jake's mom was a fucking demon hunter. <laughs> I mean, like, she was excessively badass. Look, look at this one, this one picture. I think that sums it up. I think that sums up her mother, her, her, her mothering parenting style, right? <laughs> and she was, I mean, Margaret was a great mother from the few times that we see her in the show. Oh, 
I mean, who doesn't want their mother to be armed to the teeth with weapons whilst pregnant with the child? To murder demons and goblins and ghosts with that at their will? Who's also a magic talking dog? <laughs> All right, ranking wise though, these are some solid contenders out there. There's gonna be some high rollers, both both Finn and Jake's mom, but I feel like Finn's mom, for partly the reason that she was missing for a lot of a lot of his life, I think she can go top of A because she really made up for it in the short time that she did know him. But like I said, little overbearing, you know, little. It's 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 the minute things at this point. It's 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 good moms, good good moms, <laughs> and then so next. We got Jake's mom, which I think is just a cut above Finn's mom, bottom of S tier. Boom. We're getting near the end of the list here, but next we got, ooh, we got Kitty from that 70s show. And, you know, this entry on the list was kind of for Kitty, the character, but also just kind of for the actor in general. She just gives off these motherly vibes that, like, she isn't gonna try and solve your problems, but she will just as well sit there and drink to forget them. <laughs> and, you know... I feel like that sums it up pretty well. <laughs> and personally, I think that earns her a solid B rank. You know, B for a B. <laughs> and we've reached it, the end of the list. Last but certainly not least, and yes, this is a comprehensive list of every single mom. If you think you can find another one, you're wrong, it's your dad. Um, <laughs> But the mom from Hereditary, our final entry on this list. You know, a solid contender, a solid mom, I would say. A great performance, by the way. I love that movie. And, you know, I've always said it's important to, you know, keep an eye on your child at all times, just in case you never know what's going to happen. It's always smart to use your head as a parent to try and, you know, get to your children. And, you know, never lose your head in front of your kids either. Okay, so she fits two of the three of those goals, so, like... I'd say it's a decent job. And you know, I think that earns a perfect D for D cent. <laughs> and there it is, our perfect mom list. Number one, topping the chart, the definitive best mom of all time is a gigantic whale. And I stand by that person. <laughs>